My name is Monty Tisland. Today we're going to be discussing the 10.1 menu maintenance. But before we get to that point, let's go back a little bit to where version 8 started, and then we'll go to version 8, version 9, 10, and then 10.1. So first off, let's start with where do we find the menu maintenance? In version 8 and version 9, they were listed under System Management and Utilities. In version 10.0 and version 10.1, it is now listed under System Setup, Security Maintenance, and also under System Setup, System Maintenance. So what do they look like? If we go back to version 8, here's the basis to what they started with. And you'll see a lot of these features, or pretty much all those features, are still sitting in there. So if we go to version 9, we have a couple little additions here. We have added the current company only, and we have added the exclude Epicor web access. They've also got the little green box on there that says, hey, this is available for web access. So version 10.0. Difference they added here is they added this drop down, company all. They still have the exclude, and they also added this system code. The system code over here just describes what what system it's actually residing in. Whether it's an ERP, which means it's in the typical ERP system for the main Epicor body, or if it's an ICE, which is the development system that is created. So if we look at version 10.1, they got rid of the company drop down at top. They put in place, or instead of that, they put in the owning company and all companies. The owning company is simply the company that which it was created in. And then you check the box for for all companies if you want it available for everybody. Or it may be just simply available for that company. The system menu just says that, hey, this is a system menu, so you don't need to mess with it. Again, we have the system code still over here. The owning company, all companies, and the system. And everything is still else the same. So now let's go into the actual menu main itself and let us see if we can't get ourselves into trouble. So, so if we go to the system maintenance, either security maintenance or system maintenance, and go to menu maintenance, this is how it currently opens up. Everything is set the same way. Let's talk a little bit about the security. The security is what tells you or what allows people to get into whatever they want. So for this particular security ID, it happens to be on all of these forms or all of these menu items. So that way you know which ones you will be affecting. You can give it the access for the global security manager. The security manager, and you can even exclude it from the web access itself if you want, if you have web access installed. You can allow or disallow people to get in here. For example, in this case, this is set for everybody to have it. So if you uncheck this and say, hey, I want to give a specific group, like here's a shop employee, you can you can hit the arrow. So now only the shop employees would be the ones that would be able to see this. Once I hit save, I'm not going to do that right now. But that's how you give it. If there's a particular set of people, you would want to go into the disallow, select if there's a one particular person, you can put it in there. But we strongly suggest that you set people up as groups and then give access to these as groups. Otherwise, the maintenance of it can be uh, a little time consuming and a little overwhelming. So that would be our suggestion. But if you want, you can get down to the, uh, the users itself. Just remember, it's going to be fun trying to maintain it, but that's an option for you. And if we go back to this one, this we have the standard things where, in this case, let's pick one of these. Let's go into, let's get on to order management. Let's do order entry. From here, you can tell here's the security. If you want to see the security associated with that, you just go to the security tab. Tells you which ones it's on. Order sequence just specifies where it's going to reside in this. You have your type. 
Here, let's actually let's create a new one. So if I did this, let's do. Oops, must have that one in there already. Okay. Okay. If you don't like that security, you can select a different one. This order sequence just tells us which one, where the order is. If I put it at 85, it will jump down to it right in the middle. You got to be careful because it might actually have, it may already have it. From here, you would select the program type. If it's an SSRS link, or a custom report, an SSRS dashboard assembly, all the different options are in there. From here, you'd say what kind of icon you want it to show. And if you want, you can arrow up so you can see what the icon will actually look like. If there is a program that you want associated with it, you would just go pick it out. I'm just grabbing something. If there are any customizations, it will. You can select your customizations here. If you want the form read only, you would just check it there. That way you can open it up, but no one be able to access it, so they'll be able to modify things. So it's really rather simple as to what you need to do. But with that, that will be the end of the discussion. Thank you very much for your time, and have a good day.